Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, things are moving so fast, pointing to the soon rapture of the Church of Jesus Christ and the commencement of Daniel's 70th week, the time of Jacob's trouble, the seven-year tribulation period. Folks, the rapture of the church is about to happen. Why am I saying it's about to happen? Because the tribulation period is casting its shadow on the earth right here and right now. So no, I'm not going to come out here and tell you the rapture has to be this month, this day, this year. We don't do that on this channel. What I am saying is I'm looking around this world and I see the tribulation period casting its shadow on the earth. And that's how I know the rapture is about to happen because the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ needs to occur before the Antichrist can be revealed and before the tribulation period can begin. So let's jump right into it. This is another wild one, folks. I can't keep up with it all anymore. It's almost, it's not even happening on a daily basis anymore. It's not even happening on an hourly or a minutely basis anymore. It's almost on a secondly basis. These types of stories are coming out. Again, things that are going to find their fulfillment in the tribulation period are casting their shadow on the earth right here and right now. I just came across this article from Breitbart. Listen to this. CEO of company that wants to scan your irises. World ID is coming whether you like it or not. Let me read some of this to you guys. Alex Blania, CEO of WorldCoin, a company that wants billions of people to scan their irises to create a global system of authentication, says that a global form of ID is coming, whether you like it or not. In recent remarks, Blania said that eventually, anyone who wants to use the internet will need to be authenticated by WorldCoin or something like it. Something like World ID will eventually exist, meaning that you will need to verify you are a human on the internet, whether you like it or not, said Blania. Listen to this, folks. To do this, they invented a physical device called the orb. They're calling it the orb that can scan your eyeball. The goal is for the orb to eventually scan every eyeball of every human who walks the earth. And at some point, if all goes well, everyone will have access, access to open source and decentralized financial tools. I mean, folks, they're not even trying to hide it anymore. Again, they invented a physical device called the orb that can scan your eyeball. And they're even telling you what their goal is. Their goal is for the orb to eventually scan every eyeball of every human who walks the earth. So very clearly, they want to track and monitor every single human on the planet. Now, why is this significant? Well, we know, according to the pages of end times Bible prophecy, specifically uh, Revelation chapter 13, after the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ. So the rapture of the church will occur, and I, could, I believe that could occur any day now. The rapture occurs, the Antichrist will be revealed after the rapture, and during the coming tribulation period, which we are not in yet, there will be a system in place that comes about that will be able to track and monitor every single human on the planet. And it's a system that's going to be able to control all buying and selling. And that's why stories like this are absolutely huge, folks, because we are headed straight toward this B system spoken of in the book of Revelation. And this is huge. They've invented a physical device called the orb, again, that can scan your eyeball. And their goal is they eventually want to scan every single eyeball of every human that walks the earth. And if we see this B system that's going to be implemented during the coming tribulation period, casting its shadow on the earth right here and right now, if we see the stage getting set up for this coming B system where they want to be able to track and monitor every single human on the planet and control all buying and selling, and we know the rapture occurs before the tribulation period begins, how close are we to the rapture? I would say a lot closer than people realize. It could occur at any moment. And if you're watching this video right now and you do not have Jesus Christ in your life, 
Just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is a day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven. He's the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.